all right guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a tier list for albums that have came out so far in 2024 um i'll be doing a bunch of the popular ones and then also maybe throw in a couple that are a little less mainstream but um that i've been listening to from this year so anyway starting off we'll do possibly the most talked about one this year uh vultures one with kanye and ty dolla sign um i think there were some good moments on this but there's also some really bad moments and the writing on this is just terrible like going into it it's really hard to justify the separate the art from the artist um argument because he brings himself into this record and his controversies into this record um so for that i'm gonna go to c because it's not completely like terrible f tier but there's also some pretty bad qualities that bring it down, so it's going to be a C. Uh, the second album I have here is the MGMT album, Loss of Life. Um, this is one of my favorite albums to come out this year, so I think for me this is an easy S tier. Um, I've listened to this album so many times, it's been great. Um, if you're a fan of MGMT and haven't listened to this album for some reason, go check it out. Um, the psychedelic pop sound from this is just great. But moving on, we have Genre Sad Boy um, by MGA, MGK and Trippy Red, and this is terrible. I think this is the definition of like an F tier album. This is bad. There's nothing really good about this project to even talk about. And the fourth album, we have Prelude to Ecstasy by The Last Dinner Party. Uh, they came out of nowhere, and this album is great. I'm putting this easily in S tier. Um, definitely go check this album out if you haven't already heard it. And the fifth album, we have We Don't Trust You, uh, the Future and Metro Boomin collab album. Um, I think it was good. There was definitely a lot of bangers on here. But there, it also didn't really keep my interest the entire listen. So for that reason, I'm going to put it at A tier because there is many bangers. It just there also is a couple skips on here as well. Uh, the next album I have is Blue Lips by Schoolboy Q. Um, this album was great to be honest. There's maybe one or two songs I didn't like, but other than that, I thought it was very good. Um, and I'm gonna put it probably in A tier. I think it's better than We Don't Trust You, but I don't think it's quite at the S tier level. The next album I have is Bryson Tiller's self titled album. Um, and I think it started off really good, and then as the album went on, it kind of started to go downhill. And it was kind of tough to get through that second half of the album um and i think it's a b tier just because there is a lot of songs on here that i really enjoyed but then it came down to the bottom half where it's like wow a lot of these songs i would prefer if i just never heard them um but anyway moving to insano by kid cuddy i didn't like this album i haven't been a huge fan of kid cuddy i mean some of his older work is quite good but I don't know, his newer stuff has been kind of tough to get into for me. And Insano, there's by far more skips than there is good tracks on this. Although I don't think it's on the level of John or Sad Boy, so I'm going to put it in C tier. The 10th album I have is uh, Madger, or Madger, I don't know how to pronounce that, by New Dad. I've been listening to this album like kind of like an indie rock um, project. I thought it was great. Um, it's just, you know, kind of just like a simple indie rock. So I'm going to put in A because it doesn't bring anything like crazy to the table to bring it to S. But it was very good. And I would put it at A. And if you have not heard that, definitely go check it out. One of my favorites by far. The next album I have is American Dream by Tony and Savage. And I don't know. I mean, Tony and Savage is good. but And he just kind of stuck to what he's good at, right? So I think... If you're a fan of Tony on Savage, you probably really enjoyed this album. And for me, it kind of came and went. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to put it in B tier. The next album I have is Eternal Sunshine by Ariana Grande. I've never really been an Ariana Grande fan, but I really enjoyed this album. And um, I feel like it's probably better than American Dream, so I'm going to put it in A tier. Um... But yeah, it's probably low A tier for me, but still, nonetheless, a very good album. Next, I have Cowboy Carter by Beyonce. Um, and going into this, I was expecting a country album, and I'm sure everyone else going into it was also expecting that. 
And there's definitely some like country influence. It was by far, it was far from a country album. Um, and it was great. Honestly, I don't know whether to put in S tier or A tier. I think I'm gonna land an A tier just because I haven't been listening to it as much as the other albums that are in S tier. So I'm gonna keep it in A tier, but it's like a high A tier album for me. Um, and next I have DOA by Eric DOA. Um, this is nice, it's like 10, 11 tracks and it's just like bangers all the way through. Extremely good project here from uh, Eric DOA. I was kind of like aware of him when he's in the hyper pop scene, but never like really listened to him and gave him a shot on this one and I really liked it. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it in B tier because I I don't see it on the same level as like Cowboy Carter by Beyonce or any of those albums, so I think it's gonna be a B tier. Uh, next I have Underdressed at the Symphony by Faye Webster. This was okay, I guess. Like, it was good. I like Faye Webster, but it wasn't anything crazy in my opinion. And for that, I think I'm going to put it in C tier. Um, next, I have All is Yellow by Lyrical Lemonade. This one is like, I mean, obviously it's um, just like a bunch of artists that haven't worked together um, on a song to make it kind of like a weird listening experience almost, you know, you get like Kid Cudi and Lil Durk on a song. So it's kind of a weird listening experience and I don't think it's really meant to be listened to as an album. It's more of like a playlist. And I think there's some songs off here that you know you can take off and enjoy, but there's also some songs that are kind of corny and tough to get through. So I think I'm gonna put it in C tier. Um, it's probably a, like a low C tier for me, but yeah. And next I have 2093 by Yeet. Um, I'm not really a Yeet fan and this is in my opinion probably my favorite album of his but i still wasn't huge on it i think i'm gonna i think it'd be like a high c tier maybe a low b tier um so i think i'll i'll give it the edge i'll put it in b tier but it's like a low b tier album for me uh, next we have the new it's us volume one by the concrete boys uh with lil yachty and his group um, I was looking, looking forward to this because, I mean, Lo, what Lil Yachty's been doing recently has been very nice to see. And also, I've been keeping up with Camo, which is a member of the group, and I enjoy him. And obviously, Caribou um, was trending there for a bit for her on the radar, ver on the radar verse. Um, it was a little disappointing, to be honest. Um, draft day didn't really hold up like I wanted him to, but overall, I'd give it a C tier. Uh, next, I have the new J. Cole mixtape, Might Delete Later, and I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan. I, I'll give it the edge, I'll put it in B tier though. Um, and obviously, he just recently announced that he's taking down the Kendrick Lamar diss, which I like that song, but I mean, oh well, I guess. And the final album I have here is Out Your Body Music by Lil Skies. Now this, I didn't really go into it with much expectations because Lil Skies hasn't really been relevant for a while, but... You know, every time he, like, when he drops, I go into it and I'm like, I just want, you know, old Lil Skies, you know, to get that energy back. And that energy wasn't back. It felt flat. It doesn't really feel like you're listening to Lil Skies when you listen to this. And I don't want to say F tier. I don't think it's on the level of John or Sad Boy, but I think it's probably low C tier or maybe, maybe a high F tier. But I think I'll give it the C tier. But anyway, that's all I got, so let me know what you agree with and disagree with and some other albums that you've been listening to that uh, came out here in 2024. And leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.